I think I'm going to DIY a quick and easy wreath for the front door. And then after that, I'm going to share with you what I ate for dinner. I made chicken fried rice and I also included some chicken and cilantro dumplings that I got from Trader Joe's. It was so good. So stay tuned. Hi guys and welcome back. It's me, Sharon. Thanks for stopping by. I recently painted and changed the hardware on my front door. I usually always have a seasonal wreath on the front door, but I never got around to putting one back up. So I went over to Hobby Lobby, and while I was at Hobby Lobby, I was taking advantage of that 50% off sale, and I found this one here. Uh, it's normally $70, and I got it for 50% off. So I picked it up. I thought that I would use this one on my fireplace mantle, um, but then when I got home and I was looking at my front door, I said, I think this would also make a beautiful wreath. Just a simple wreath, something to kind of dress the front door. Now let's get started on the wreath. This will probably be the last summer garland that I put up for the season. Uh, after this, I can see myself preparing to, um, preparing to transition into fall decor. Um, I got these from Amazon. I ordered, I think you get like 10 stems, and I can't remember the price, but I'll link it down below in the description box. I love these things. I decorate with these all over my home. And then this is a pick that I also got from Hobby Lobby, uh, an homage to summer. And I'm also going to be using some floral wire um, to attach the garland to itself. I won't be cutting this or anything like that because I can see myself using this in other places. Um, so this is definitely going to be an end of summer, temporary, super simple, super easy DIY wreath. So I'm going to wrap this almost twice, <laughs> almost twice, and I'm going to leave a little piece down here, this section in here is going to be a single layer as opposed to say here where I have a double layer this here is going to be single because this is where I'm going to add my picks and I didn't want it to be too bulky because as you guys know I have a glass storm door and um, the wreath fits in between my door and my storm door so I can't have it too bulky so I will just take and double it up to a certain point to leave myself room to add my floral pick. Each end of the garland has a loop that you can attach it to another piece of garland or you can attach it to an actual actual wreath form, but I'm going to use it to attach it to itself. Fortunately, this is sturdy enough that the base of this garland is sturdy enough, as you can see here, that it can hold its shape and its form. If it was a flimsier one or if this was more of the plastic, it would lose its shape once you hung it on the door. It would start to, to, to pull and hang in an oblong shape. But this one here is a pretty sturdy, it's a pretty thick one, uh, a pretty decent quality one that I can attach it to itself without a form and it still keeps its shape. I'm going to flip it over so I can attach it towards the back. I want to um, hide the wires in the back, but I don't want it so much in the back where it scratches the door because as I said, I just painted it and changed the hardware, so I don't want to damage the door in any way but I don't want the wires to be seen. Hey guys, let's connect on social media on Instagram and Pinterest at Creative Glam One. I'm gonna leave additional photos to this video over there. Stop by and check me out and make sure you follow
I could go and pull these flowers out and add white if I chose or gray or whatever your color theme is yellow whatever you wanted these to be if pink didn't work as long as the rest of the floral pick works for you the flower colors are optional so let's go hang it The first thing I did was chop my ingredients, my onions, garlic, ginger, and scallions. I prepared some white rice the night before. Here I'm just sauteing some onions before I drop the chicken into the wok. And here I'm just adding a little soy sauce to the seared chicken. and I set that chicken to the side. And now I chopped it up into bite-sized pieces. And here I just scrambled a little egg with some salt and pepper and scrambled it up in the wok. And here I'm going to add all my ingredients to the wok. My onions, my rice, my scallions, my ginger, and my eggs. And I'll also add some uh, bean sprouts. I'm going to add a little soy sauce and oyster sauce along with the rice, the onions, the scallions, the ginger, the bean sprouts, the carrots, and the peas, and the eggs. Give it all a good stir, and then I can add the chicken back into the fried rice. And here I'm just going to add a little water to my pan and add the steaming basket so that I can steam off the chicken and cilantro dumplings that I got from Trader Joe's. And while the dumplings are steaming, I added the egg rolls, the vegetable egg rolls, to the oven. And then I'm going to garnish it with a little extra scallions and soy sauce. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed my DIY, my summer garland wreath as well as my Asian inspired dinner. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bells. I'd also appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. So hit that like button too. At the end of this video, you'll see two video links. Click one to see more home decor with Creative Glam, all things home. Bye. Them dumplings are good. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Got that little hint of ginger going in there. You can taste the ginger, you can. Uh huh. Mm. 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 That's really good, guys.
Yeah, you guys should try that. The chicken and cilantro dumplings at Trader Joe's, I recommend them.